Hi, I'm Michelle Rubin with USDTrails.com, catching up here with junior defensive end Blake Oliaro in day seven of training camp. Blake, you've gotten a lot of preseason recognition. You're even on the Buchanan watch list for top FCS defender of the year. You've, that's that's got to boost your confidence going into the season. What does this mean to you? Uh, I mean, it means a lot, you know. Um, it's it's a huge honor to be recognized by uh, on the national scale. Um, that being said, you know, it takes 11 guys to win a football game, and just because I'm getting all the recognition doesn't mean, you know, the rest of the defense has to play well. So, it, you know, just because I'm getting it doesn't mean we don't we have 11 good players. Well, you've been on the team for three years. What kind of leadership role are you going to have to take this season? Um, well, definitely I'm going to have to, you know, I've never been really a big uh, hoorah guy. I always, I always like to lead by example, but I uh, definitely would like to take on a little bit more of a leadership role this year. You know, definitely uh, I'm a veteran now, you know, fourth year in the program. And so I think a lot of, you know, the younger guys are starting to look up to, to the older guys and, you know, kind of lead the way for the, the younger kids. Definitely. And you played for Folsom High School, which is a really good football program. And then last year you got PFL Defensive Player of the Year. What kind of expectations did you have in high school and did they match up with all the recognition you've gotten in college so far? Uh, absolutely not. You know, I, I, coming out of high school, I was just, I was happy to play anywhere I could. Um, I never in my wildest dreams could have imagined, you know, all this, all the uh, recognition that I've gotten in the awards. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's a thrill and I'm enjoying every second of it. Well, not only awards, you guys are PFL champs last year. What kind of team goals as well as any personal goals do you have in order to have another successful season here at USD? Well, uh, my personal goals are pretty much the same as the team goals. We want to we wanna go undefeated and uh, repeat as PFL champs. Um, a lot of us, um, a lot of the older guys, you know, we really want to go to the, the playoffs this season. So I think that would be a huge step for our program. And, uh, you know, we have a 10-1, 11-0 record to do that. So I think that's our biggest goal. And as you know, um, team chemistry plays a huge role in team success. What have you seen from some of these new freshmen out here? Uh, they're learning, you know. It's, it's, uh, it's, I remember when I was being a freshman, it's a shock, you know. It's a lot different than high school football. Everybody's a lot faster, a lot bigger, a lot stronger. Uh, I think, you know, there's a lot, of, a lot of good young faces and a lot of new faces. Um, and uh, some of them will definitely contribute this year. Is there any uh, specific people we should look out for besides yourself? Uh, well, he's not a freshman this year, but our, our running back, Joe Ferguson, number 34, is, uh, has really stepped up at the running back position, and he'll be a, a really big contributor for us this year. Uh, a couple wide receivers. Um, you know, we got some good guys on defense, some, some new faces at corner and at safety, but I think uh, on the, the whole, our, uh, our core group is made up of returning players, so that's the, that's the group we're going to rely on. And what teams are you looking forward to playing most this season? Um, well, we have our traditional rivalries with uh, Dayton and Drake and Jacksonville. Um, we, we were really looking forward to the Campbell game because they kind of got us last year. It was our only, only league loss, so I definitely want to get back at them. Uh, really, excited, really excited for the Cal Poly game opening up the season, so that should be a real exciting game. Well, thank you very much. Good luck for the season and the rest of training camp, definitely. The Treros kick off their season September 1st on Saturday at 4 p.m. at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo.